with this memory board data, another phase of my memory restoration is complete. You can now craft an air tank. I detect a memory board within the dust. Begin your search. You've prepared an air tank. You can now enter the dust. Having crafted an air tank, you can now operate within the dust. However, the tank is only so big. If the oxygen in it runs out, your life will begin to drop. If you're low on oxygen, you can use coupon energy to replenish it. You can take advantage of this feature from your iDroid.
acquired from memory board. Captain, there is one item to report. Regarding the latest recovery... Hang on a minute, you mind? There's something I've been thinking about. The body of that Charon Corps member. The one you got the damaged air tank from. He'd been shot. Needless to say, we haven't seen any wanderers with guns. Meaning, he had to have been killed by a person. Right? What's that all about? That is unclear. All we can say is that if people are killing each other here, that is an illogical thing to do. My point is, these incidents don't make sense. If my theory is correct... Ah, uh, forget it. Sorry for butting in. Continue with what you were gonna say. Getting back to the report, Captain. The data you recovered revealed the location of a wormhole transporter. Wormhole transporters are devices utilizing wormhole technology which enable instant transportation between two distant points. Two points? So we can use this thing to get home? Unfortunately, the wormhole we can generate with this device is structurally different from the one needed to return home. Therefore, it can only be used for transporting matter within this world. Nevertheless, this device should allow us to explore a much greater area than before, while maintaining base camp as our base of operations. Currently, all devices are offline. To use them, you'll need to access them directly and restart their systems. Despite the potential danger, we should bring these devices back online in order to increase our area of operations. Wormhole transporters allow you to travel a great distance in the blink of an eye. To facilitate future exploration, I suggest you reactivate this one. I took the liberty of marking its predicted location on the map. Open your eye droid to see where this is.
activate the wormhole transporter. The transporter coming back online will attract the enemy's attention, so stay alert. Our apologies. With our memory loss, we were a little slow on the mark in informing you of this. Before you activate the transporter, be sure you're ready to defend it.
With the transporter reactivated, you can now move more quickly and safely. Should you discover other transporters during your searches, I recommend reactivating them as well. The teleportation of matter. Who would have thought this kind of technology exists? But now that I've seen this, I know I'm right. Right about what? How a group like the Charon Corps, who were this advanced, got wiped out. It wasn't wanderers. It was people. But whether it was some kind of internal conflict or an outside force, I don't know. That is illogical. As we discussed before, in an environment such as Dite's, there can be no advantage to humans working against one another. After all, you and the Captain were technically members of opposing forces. Yet here you are, working together. Yeah, well, people don't always do the smart thing. And I make no promises I won't shoot the captain in the back if I have to. Look, you just watch out. If we do come across survivors here, do not let your guard down. Same goes with me. detect a large mass within the wormhole. Object form analyzed. It's a military helicopter. Control has been lost. At this rate, it will crash. I've marked the presumed crash site on the map. You might come across some supplies or even survivors. Why don't you go take a look? Captain, go and investigate the helicopter crash site. Wait, I'm against that. Say we're going to scavenge supplies. We should scope it out for a while before moving in, right? Your proposal is extremely illogical. Taking into account crash trajectory, fuselage damage level, and other factors, the chances of survival currently stand at approximately 11.2%. This will decrease by 3% every hour. The sooner we check for survivors, the better. Survivors are the problem. You feel like having this conversation again? But securing personnel will be essential to completing the mission. Well, I guess that's that. You're the captain. It's your call. I have updated the situation report. It's not that you don't raise a valid point, Mr. Reeve, but this is part of the mission. You should go and investigate the crash site. <laughs> <laughs> 